But I want to just take a few moments to say this has been the most amazing experience of my life. And I could regale you in all of the stories of day after day after day, something marvelous happened. And uh, so many of you are in the room, but so many are still all around the state who carried this campaign forward. And I know I'm going to forget somebody, and I'll just ask for forgiveness in, in, uh, in advance. But um, you've already heard about Liz Mary. Uh, she has been a stalwart throughout this whole effort. Um, we have a future together. We are, you know, we're going to look at that. Um, the, all of the unions that have so proudly supported me, and, um, and I have been honored and graced by their presence. Uh, you've heard about Dave Wang, the professional firefighters. Um, uh, I know, I know, that's what happens when you don't know. It's Diane Lacey and the SEIU, um, on a Ford's been right there all the time. The IBWs, uh, Glenn Brackett, Joe Casey, all of the other IBWs, uh, the stagehands, um, all of the uh, unions, the bricklayers, and allied craftsmen, um, all of the unions that have stood uh, proudly. What? Oh, God. <laughs> the Police Benevolent Association, all of the corrections officials, Steve Arnold. Um, <laughs> you're right, you're right. No. So, um, and then all of the, you know, the individuals that have, have just carried this campaign forward day after day after day, the folks that worked the phones, the folks that went out knocking on doors, um, came together and did our mailers. Uh, you know, there are just so many. And if I start individually, I really will embarrass myself. Um, but this, is, this truly has been an amazing effort. Um, you all know, we've said it from the very beginning, our state is in a very, very fragile position. Um, we know what the other side has to offer, and it is virtually more of the same that got us here. But we've got our country here and got our state in the condition that it's in. What's that? Amen. Yeah, that's well, amen is right. Um, so we know what our job is going forward. Um, we need to hold that corner office. We need to elect common sense rational individuals. We need a democratic slate going into the fall. And we are going to share. We are going to stand shoulder to shoulder and we're going to get our team over the finish line. Because to do anything less means that we are going to continue to cut so many vital services that our citizens need. We are going to face in town after town what they're facing right here in Manchester, which is overcrowded classrooms and teachers slashed from the budget. We are going to lose firefighters. We are going to lose police officers. Our communities and our state is going to look, are going to look nothing like what you know we have always wanted for New Hampshire. It is not the vision that I have for New Hampshire. I know darn well it's not the vision that you all have for New Hampshire. And we need to make sure that we don't allow that to happen. And in the meantime, while we do that, we also need to carry our voices forward, and we need to uh, continue this discussion of how we are going to rationally resource government in a way that we can be proud when we look at our communities, that they're safe, healthy communities. This was a fight worth having. We moved the needle on pledged politics. We didn't move it far enough. I understand that. But we need to carry this fight on until the day comes, and I hope it comes soon, where that is not the eligibility criteria for somebody to run for state by office. zombie ads, <laughs> come up with some other creative techniques, um, we need to do that and we need to drive a stake through the heart of, of that pledge. Yeah. So, <laughs> so tonight, what I'd like you to do is celebrate, because Horseshoes Plus uh, put on this affair from what I understand. Um, and I say the best for last, because of all the many, many people that I have to thank, the reason that I'm standing here at all tonight is because of my wonderful husband, Bruce. Yeah. He is certainly the first husband. 
Hoffman. I've heard, it, I've heard him called more than once one of the best campaign husbands any candidate could ever ask about. <laughs> never stopped believing in me, and I don't think you did tonight either. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all that you've done. Understand this fight goes forward for tonight. We know what we have to do for November. We also know what we need to do for the future of our state. I would ask you to join me uh, as, we, as we take this state forward, because we will. Thank you.